All right, so here we have the iPhone 11. There's no, uh, it's 128 gigs of storage. Uh, there's no words on the packaging. It doesn't say 11 on here, it just says iPhone, but you can tell by the new camera design, it's the 11. This is not the Pro or the Pro Max, just the regular 11. Looks as the packaging shows. Lift it out. Apple's always, of course, very good with their packaging. Uh, in here, you have a USB block, of course. The lightning cable and actual lightning cable. Uh, not AirPods, but earbuds, I guess. I don't know what Apple calls their product. In here, we have a SIM tool, Apple stickers. I wonder how many of these things they've made over the years. They get just straight thrown in the trash. Alright. Let's peel them off here. I'm not mistaken, that's the only plastic on here. So on the side here, you have volumes, your standard turn them off uh, silent guy. How many that's your volume? Yeah, yeah that's a power button, I would assume. And there's your lightning port and speaker grills. And then your SIM card tray is on this side. So, let's hold them down and see if it powers off. There we go. So it does have the little nubby guys here. Oh, does that ever have the card in there, I guess? I don't know if I've ever set up an iPhone before. I usually focus on Android. Alright, so bring your current iPhone or iPad near this to set it up. So let me get my wife's phone and we'll set this up. Alright, so now I have my wife's old iPhone 8 Plus, it's our dog Simon. It is Christmas, of course. So, bring your current iPhone near. Let me unlock this. Here is her old iPhone. I'm gonna have to blur the sound, of course. Hold your new phone up to the spot. Enter your passcode. That's why you really don't need the store to set your phone up for you. You can do it yourself. It's pretty easy. Alright, now I get my wife's face. Uh, for this, which is not going to be on video. Alright, we did the face setup. Uh, it was pretty cool to do it. My wife obviously doesn't want her face on camera, so... Because this video is going to get super popular, millions of views, of course. I do like this purple color. It's pretty neat. Alright, that, that was pretty quick. I don't know if she does that, so I'm going to set that up later. Oh, so I do have a watch that we're going to connect. So, Alright, so we are going to set her other whole watch up. Nope. Sure. Alright, so now we're transferring data. 
it's not bad, 11 minutes, I'm gonna cut a lot of this other video of course, but uh, 11 minutes is not too terrible. In case you're wondering, this is a Note 10 Plus next to the iPhone 11. Obviously the Pro Max is bigger, but it's just an idea of size, comparison size there. Alright, so this is a long time now. We also got two cases, the Otter Pop. And this one I got to match the color in case she was worried about the color, but she I know she wanted this case. I don't think they make this one in this color. And this is the color of her previous case. It's close to it anyhow. She likes that color, so And I got a watch band to sort of complement it. Yeah, so I guess this white bar is sort of like a home button. Also, while we're chilling time, here is the Samsung Galaxy Active. Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2. And this is, I think, the original Apple Watch. I'm not positive. This is 38 millimeter. I think this is 44, maybe. Anyhow. You can see the size difference. Alright, it says three minutes left. This video's been recorded for 23 minutes. Uh, so I don't think it took as long as it said it was originally, obviously. Uh, I don't remember exactly how long. I wasn't paying that much attention. But I would say prepare for probably 30 minutes round trip to get all this shit transferred over. Transfer complete. I guess this guy's rebooting. Yep. Yeah. Alright, we transferred from this phone to this phone. Uh, it rebooted, and of course... You know, you look at this, and then we'll be should be ready to rock on this one. And if that worked for the watch, I'm gonna be impressed because with a Samsung watch or just a regular Wear OS watch, you have to do a complete wipe of the watch and then reconnect it to the other phone, which is a huge pain in the hours. All right, so we're done with this phone. Alright, so it transferred over my wife's password as well. I don't agree to this nonsense. I don't think she uses that, so I'm going to skip it for now. We'll set it up later. Alright, went through these. So swipe up to go home. Swipe up and hold to switch apps. Hit this button for the controls, and we'll swipe up. All right, so there we are. Looks like we're fully activated. All right, so let's go ahead and look at these new cases. Uh, we got the OtterBox Pop Socket one and this Tech Twenty One Studio Color. The way you move. It's very small and thin. My wife usually carries a bulky OtterBox. She may like this one better. We're going to give it a shot. Oh, there's Simon. So I'm going to let her try this and see. You can see the colors. Pretty good matching, but not perfect. I don't know that I like that touch feel. And there's your settings there. Alright, so we're going to stop the video for a second. I'm going to let her try this and see what she thinks. All right, so let's check out the OtterBox Otter Pop series. It just slides right out, comes right out, and then the pop socket just pops out like that. I'm really not crazy about this color. It just pops right in there, of course. Bits in there, you can see the purple for a little bit. And of course, the main attraction is having this pop socket to set it up like that. And it says wireless charging works. I'll test that out. I don't have a charger over here in this area, so 
I'm just gonna take my word for it. And then of course you do see the purple through there, so but so I got this watch band hoping it would kind of match with this green, it's not really the same color. It does come off fairly easy. So there is the pop socket one. And then there is the tech uh, 21 which says it's made from plant-based materials so I'm gonna let my wife see which one she prefers so it says wireless charging compatible but I just tried this pop socket on a tilt view wireless charger and it did not work the purple one worked just fine and the old OtterBox case always works fine she's been using it for years on there and it's perfectly fine I have to assume it's this massive pop socket that's causing the problem. I must say this is not true. So for that reason, we'll probably keep this one for now. Maybe buy a different case because I mean she's all in on the wireless charging camp. And she did set up her wallet. Alright, so there we go for the cases. Like I said, for now we're going to try the smaller case, I think. Or either buy a different otter box. She does like the pop socket. I mean, I'll hold it like this. But like I said... Wireless charging is going to be a deal breaker. Alright, thanks for checking me out.